Greetings, ladies and gentlemen. Theo Hickmatt here. Friends call me Jason Zelda. I wanted to take a few moments to put together a little update to my recovery from surgery video. In the original video, I promoted these. Balance of Nature Vitamins. These vitamins are very good. They're very effective. They really helped me to recover rather quickly. As a matter of fact, I had surgery last month, and I'll be returning to work next week. That's how quickly I've been recovering from spine surgery. Now, the issue that I have is before ever purchasing those vitamins, I did some research into the company, and there was some information that I found out now that I didn't know back then because the Internet didn't reveal that. For some reason, the Internet's kind of weird. Sometimes you look up a topic, it'll give you some information and hide other information and then when you research that very same thing later, all of a sudden the internet is giving you information that it didn't give you before. And I wish it had given me this information before so I would have been more effective in presenting what I wanted to present. Now I want to start off by saying this. These vitamins are good. The vitamins themselves are very effective. The problem that I have is with the company behind them. Before ever buying any vitamins from them, I did some research into them. And one of the things that I found is that a lot of people were complaining that in their commercials, they want you to become a preferred customer. If you become a preferred customer, they'll charge you less for the vitamins, but you got to give them your credit card or debit card number. And by giving them your credit card or debit card number, this is what the comments were saying. The company at random times may send you vitamins even though you didn't order any, but they'll charge you anyway. Even though you didn't order any. They'll hit your card and send you vitamins even though you didn't order any. So since I was aware of this, I would buy my vitamins using gift cards. I knew that not being a preferred member meant you had to pay $20 more so the price would be $89.95. So I would get a gift card for $90. That way they can only hit the card once. If they try to hit it more than once, it's going to say insufficient funds because there's only going to be a nickel left on the card. I wanted to get another batch of Balance of Nature vitamins as I'm recovering from the surgery. Earlier this month, I ordered them. According to their website, everything went through. But the vitamins never came. Three weeks later, I still hadn't gotten the vitamins, so I called up the company. And here's what happened. They tried to tell me that there's insufficient funds on the card. Not that there was a wrong card number, not that there was a wrong expiration date or something. No, insufficient funds. What does that mean? It means they already got the $89.95. They took the money off the card, but they tried to hit the card a second time. And they wasn't able to get any more money. So rather than sending me the vitamins I ordered, they decided to play this game that my card didn't have enough funds on it. Therefore, they're not going to send me the vitamins. I began to look into Balance of Nature customer service, and here's where things got disturbing. Let's take a look at the reviews. Now, when I first looked up Balance of Nature reviews months ago, when I first started using them, these didn't show up. But now, they are showing up. So I feel it's very important, for the sake of honesty, to let you guys see what it is that I'm dealing with here. And I don't want you to get caught up in the same problem. So we have this one here. It's from uh, Test Pilot. It's a review site of various companies and this person writes they'll take your money but that's all they'll do for you look at what it says in the highlighted section here recently they double charge my credit card well that's the exact same thing they've trying to do to me that bottom section highlighted says they have left me with no choice but to contact the above and warn others she warned that she was going to contact the Better Business Bureau and let them know what the company's doing. Again, the vitamins are good. The company behind the vitamins, that's another story. Here's another one here. It says here, my experience is not very positive at, and it says my experience is not very positive at the moment. 
my July shipment did not arrive yet. That's the exact same position I'm in. You order it and they choose not to send it, telling you instead that your card was declined, wanting you to pay a second time. Look at the next one here. This lady writes, where is my second shipment? Look at the highlighted section. My second shipment is nowhere to be found. The first bottle came fine. Thinking I may feel a little better considering taking double dose, but costs may keep me from doing this. However, my second shipment is nowhere to be found. This appears to be the pattern that they're using, and I want to warn people now about the company. Again, the vitamins appear to be perfectly fine. The company behind the vitamins, that's a whole different story. Here's another one. The product is good. Customer service, not so much. It says here the product is good. Don't bother calling customer service. On hold for a long time, kept getting messages to go to the website. Could not find an answer to my questions about receiving double shipments arriving at the very same time. Again, double shipments, hitting the card more than once and making you pay for it. Next one. This lady writes, my experience is not very positive at the moment. My July shipment did not arrive yet. Your response to my concern was very quick about what happened. As far as I'm concerned, it is not resolved yet. Still waiting for my shipment to come. Yeah, I'm still waiting for mine too. There's more. This person here, right? I started my subscription a month ago. The second delivery has been tied up in transit for the last 10 days. I've been out of pills for several days. I am pleased with your product and pricing, but if it doesn't get delivered, it's of no use to me. This appears to be a pattern. I want to warn people now about the Balance of Nature company. Not the vitamins. The vitamins appear to be perfectly fine. The company behind the vitamins, a whole different story. Next one. Not very happy with Balance of Nature. It says here, for starters, I never received the product at all. Secondly, I do not appreciate getting emails that state that my card was declined. That sounds very familiar. That's the same thing they're trying to do to me, telling me that there's not enough money on my card and wanting me to pay again. This person writes, when I keep my bills up to date, I begin to wonder if that's just a scam to get people's information fraudulently. That's a good point. This next one, poor service, they write. I've been without the product for a couple of weeks now. What's the point of being a subscriber if you can't get the product before I'm totally out? Funny how they didn't have any problem charging my card. They're charging the card and not sending out the product. And I want to warn people about this, that this appears to be a pattern. And you see, this is 17 hours ago, three days ago. We're not talking about something years and years and years ago. This appears to be a practice within this company that I didn't know about. This next person writes, horrible customer service, horrible customer service. They sent me the wrong product, then refused to give a refund on the wrong product. I've had to call multiple times to speak to the manager or whoever is in charge, and they sent me the voicemail. Well, that's exactly what they do. They send you on a circular pattern. The person will say, well, gee, I can't handle this issue here. I'll hand you over to somebody who can. They'll put you on hold for maybe two minutes and then come back and say, oh, I'm sorry. We couldn't reach anybody. Uh, let me take your phone number and we'll call you within 24 to 48 hours. And then when they call you back, the person calling you has no idea why they're calling. I've been through this at least, what, three times now. And I've decided to give up on this company and warn you guys that this appears to be a practice because there's something behind this that I'm about to point out to you guys as to why I think this is going on. I decided to look into reviews for customer service. And this one really got my attention because I began to figure out why it was that they were taking your money and not supplying the product. It says here, I felt like I was working for a cult. It's right there on your screen. Who wrote this? What you're going to be hearing is you're going to be hearing from people who actually work at Balance of Nature customer service. These are not outsiders. This is not third party information. This is people who work there who is blowing the whistle on what's going on behind the scenes. 
And who's really behind the whole thing is about to be shown by the people who actually work there. <clears throat> they wrote, I feel like I was working for a cult. Strange as it sounds, it truly felt like I was working for a cult. They require all co-workers to be and act in accordance to their personal beliefs. And it can feel like you're being manipulated many times. I'm a hard worker. But they could create certain performance standards and then change them once you achieve those, which made it feel like I was always walking on eggshells. Now look at this next part and you're going to see what's really going on behind the scenes. There's also a training required for moving into a health coaching position. We're going to deal with the health coaches in a few moments, which I was working extremely hard for. But once I got through the entire program, they continued to add training to it, including Scientology based training that I was not paid for. Scientology? What does Scientology have to do with these vitamins? Did they buy this company? Did they take over this company? And they're working in the background? You're going to see this Scientology thing keeps popping up over and over among the employees trying to warn people on the outside that this group is tied to Scientology. There's a response that is given. It says official response from Balance of Nature. So this is one of the high ups responding back May 6, 2022. It says thank you for your feedback. We are pleased you've enjoyed your work schedule with us. We checked with our health coach trainers. And they told us that the health coach training requirements were recently revised to ensure we continually offer top quality services to our customers. Uh, I haven't been getting top quality service. They took my money and didn't send me my vitamins. It says, we are sorry to hear that this was discouraging for you. We offer all employees the opportunity to learn through Hubbard Business College. What's Hubbard Business College? Uh, th that's Scientology. L. Ron Hubbard, the founder of Scientology. And I'm going, wait a minute, what, what is the connection here with this vitamin company in Scientology? What is going on here? I begin to look at reviews. Look at the reviews it has here. Three stars, 36 five star, but when you add up the negatives, the four star, three star, two star, one star, far more than 36. And many of these are from people who work there. I found that very interesting. Let's see what else is said here by people who work there. This one says ups and downs. Let's go look at the highlighted section here. The highlighted section says they use an unaccredited Scientology based school for training. They say it's optional, but that's not accurate. In my experience, it is pushed pretty hard. So once again, we have somebody else saying there's a tie here to the Church of Scientology and these vitamins. Again, the official response coming from the leadership, the highlighted section, once again, saying the same thing. Our business and management car courses are offered to our employees through the Hubbard College of Administration. These courses, while strongly encouraged, are optional. Strongly encouraged. It sounds like uh, other religious cult groups that I've done where they say that they're, they, they strongly encourage their members to do certain things when the members know they don't really have an option. The next one here says negative environment. The highlighted section. Their Hubbard College is not an accredited college, so be aware of that. These are people who work there, folks. This is the third connection here to Scientology. And then down here in the con section, not great pay, no benefits, no retirement, no growth potential without their Hubbard College. So if you want to advance, basically you got to put yourself into, according to what they're saying here, you got to go to their Scientology College. Now this began to bother me. It says here with uh, no growth potential without their Hubbard College, which is not accredited and gossipy backstabbing trainers. 
Let's look at some more because I want you guys to see this is not a one off. This is something that has been going on behind the scenes that I didn't know about, but I felt the need to tell you guys about. It says here they provide almost no benefits. It says avoid working here. Again, somebody coming from there. And he was one of the health coaches. We're going to deal with the health coach in a moment. You see it says health coach underlined here? Former employee health coach. It says here they provided almost no benefits. The company is booming and taking in loads of money, but they just take it all for themselves. You are constantly trying to explain why the company is taking new customers when they can't get the product to the ones they have. Well, I'm testimony to that. I'm testimony to that. They took my money and never sent me my vitamins this last time. It says terrible business practice with no regard for taking care of their own. They force you to do Scientology business training and are super controlling in the work environment. It is not a positive atmosphere. It feels like a Mormon church. Wow. Guys, I had no idea this is what's going on behind the scenes at this vitamin company. But I wanted to warn you about it. Again, the official response from the, the higher ups, the highlighted section, employees, employees are also offered free business courses through Hubbard College of Administration. Again, they keep pushing the same Scientology stuff. They're not denying that they're doing it. They're pushing it on these on these these people. And it's that's the way it looks to me. And, and it's, it's really sad. Guys, I wanted to put this together because um, I want to warn you guys. The vitamins are good. The ones that are behind the vitamins, on the other hand, appear to be very questionable. At, at, at best, very questionable. So here's what I recommend for you. Number one, if you're going to get Balance of Nature vitamins, do not get it through their website. Find another source, whether eBay, Amazon, somewhere else, but not them. Next up, they're going to try to push on to you what they call a health coach. But you just saw here that in order to become a health coach, they train you in Scientology, which means that the health coach is a Scientology recruitment person, or they try to recruit them and make them into a Scientology recruitment person. I did a video years ago called Cult Busting 101. Jason Zelda does Cult Busting 101. And in that video, I talked about cult groups that have bad reputations. And they know they can't bring in people through the front door because nobody wants to have anything to do with them. So they'll put together a front group or an organization or they'll purchase a choir, a company or something. And that company, you has no idea that it's tied to that cult. But by doing business with them, you're actually interacting with the cult. And if they have an opportunity to try to hook you in, they'll try to hook you in through the company, not knowing that this company is tied to the cult. And that appears to be what's happening here. People who come in, they want you to become what they call a preferred member. Do not become a preferred member of Balance of Nature. Don't do it. Don't do it. Because what they'll do is they'll take your credit card number, and once they got your number, as you're seeing here from these reviews, whenever they see fit, they will ding your card, they will charge you for vitamins, and sometimes they'll send them, and sometimes they won't, but they still got your money. And when you call their customer service, you get sent round the rosy, like I've been doing for the last, what, week and a half? Two weeks so far? Of calling customer service, having the person say, oh, gee, I'm sorry, I can't handle this here. Let me hand you off to somebody that can take care of it. Being put on hold for a couple of minutes while the music plays. And then the person comes back and says, oh, I'm sorry, uh, we weren't able to get a hold of anybody. But if we can get your phone number, we'll call you back. And then they call back and the person calling back has no clue why they're calling you. And say, how can we help you? Uh, well, and you tell them what's going on. So, oh, gee, I can't help you here. Let me hand you off to somebody who can. They'll put you on hold for a couple of minutes, let you hear the music. And then they'll come back and say, gee, I'm sorry, uh, we weren't able to reach anybody. But if you give us your phone number, we'll call you within 24 to 48 hours. And the thing goes over and over and over and over again. I wish there was a Christian company that made all natural vitamins, made from natural products and so forth, like the Balance of Nature stuff is, that didn't cost as much as this stuff is and had a very honest business practice. But clearly, this company has screwed over a lot of people, and I felt it was need to say something about it. 
So I want to warn you guys, do not accept their health coach because most likely the health coach has been trained in Scientology and they're going to try to recruit you. Do not become a preferred customer because they're going to ask for your credit card number and once they get your credit card number, according to these reviews, they will ding your card whenever they want and they're not going to give you a refund. That's the way it appears to be. They're going to take your money and act like they don't know Jack. It is very sad that they have a very good product and a very bad business model. And I do not blame these customer service people because it appeared that they're being put under stress like you wouldn't believe. These are probably Scientology members themselves or people that Scientology is trying to recruit in. Be careful, guys. Keep your eyes open at all times. If you're going to buy Balance of Nature vitamins, buy them somewhere else, but don't go to the Balance of Nature website. I don't plan on giving them any more of my business. And if they ever call me again, I'm just going to let them know, hey, guys, I'm done. I'm tapped out. I'm not dealing with you guys anymore. I'm not dealing with you anymore. I'll get my vitamins somewhere else. And if I can find other vitamins that are made the same way, I'll go that route. So I just want to give you guys the warning up front to let you guys know, since I found out about this, my conscience wasn't going to leave me alone until I said, you know what, I need to put together a video and let the people know because I don't want to be responsible for having somebody get caught up in a cult because they went to purchase some vitamins and then ended up getting hooked up with some uh, so-called health coach that was recruiting them into some cult. I didn't want to be involved with that. I didn't know about this group's ties with Scientology. And if you want to be involved with Scientology, that's on you. That's on you. You've been warned by a whole bunch of people about that group, including me. So I don't want to be responsible for anybody getting caught up in that. So I wanted to put this at the beginning of the video and I'm going to repost this video about my recovery and I'm taking out the section on the balance of nature vitamins. I don't think they deserve promotion anymore from my channel. Now that I know what this group is all about. Again, the vitamins themselves are good. They were very effective, but the business practice and the people behind them, I cannot endorse in any way, shape, manner, or form, period. So keep your eyes open, guys, and be safe out there. And now we'll present the video dealing with my recovery from surgery. Thank you again, guys. I want to thank my doctor. I want to thank my pastor and all of those who took the time to help me out during my recovery. And I'll see you guys down the road. Greetings, ladies and gentlemen. Theo Hikmat here. Friends call me Jason Zelda, singer, songwriter, and Bible teacher. Just wanted to give you guys a health update, and also, if you're watching this video, you may be someone who is due for uh, cervical spine surgery. You might be, or might have been told by your doctor that you're going to need to have surgery done on a disc in your neck or in your spine. I had that done about a month ago, and I want to give you guys some information as to what happened, what I went through, and recommend for you guys a doctor whose work well, you're looking at the end result of his work. A little over a month later, I've had the surgery done, and I'm feeling really good. I want to give you guys some understanding of what's going on. Some of you may have had a fall. You may have been hit in the head or in the back really hard. You may have had something happen where you're starting to have pain in your shoulder, your arm. You might have a tingling feeling. In your arms or your forearms you could end up having you know how it feels when your your leg go to sleep or your arm go to sleep like needles and all you can have that kind of feeling in your arm there are some people when they go through that they might think that there's something wrong with their arm because that's where all the pain is going on that's what happened with me I originally thought there was something wrong with my arm I went to the doctors had them take a look and I was misdiagnosed originally as you see here I was misdiagnosed with a sprained neck. It wasn't a sprained neck that I was dealing with. Because I was told I had a sprained neck, I went to work for another week. And by the end of that work week, I was in a really, really bad condition physically. Because I didn't have a sprained neck. What I actually had was a herniated disc in my neck. Here's the MRI here. You see the bulge in the picture, that bulge there where the arrow's pointing, that bulge is not supposed to be there. 
that bulge is pushing up against the spinal cord, which is causing problems, and you can't see it on the x-ray, but that bulge is also pressing up against some nerves. And that's what was causing the pain in the arm, shoulder, and the back of the neck. So even though I was getting my arm looked at because that's where the pain was, the pain was not being caused by the arm. The pain was being caused by the herniated disc in the neck. So if you're having an issue where you're having pain in your arms and you can't understand it, you might be having pain in your legs and you can't understand why you're having these pains, you might want to do what I ended up doing, which was getting an MRI. The MRI is what revealed that what the actual problem was, was the bulging disc in the neck, which was causing all the pain in the arm. In your case, it might be a bulging disc in one of the other areas, which may be causing pain in your other arm or may be causing pain in your legs. You might want to look into that. I'm not a doctor. I'm not going to pretend to be one, but I'm a person who just recently went through this surgery. And if you're watching this video, you've probably watched other people's videos because you got the surgery coming up. You want to know what to expect. And there's a lot of videos of people who've gone through this disc replacement surgery like I had. And they talk about how painful it was and how much pain that they're in. And they're they looking really rough and really, really sad, some of them that I saw. And I was expecting to go through the same thing. But my doctor, Dr. John Burleson, I'm going to put his picture up on the screen. Dr. John Burleson. Ladies, calm down. Calm down, ladies. Calm down. Calm down. It's, it's just Dr. Burleson. Calm down. I know. I know. You want him to be your doctor now, don't you? I get it. It's okay. Calm down. It's all right. My doctor here, Dr. John Burleson, MD. When it was shown that I had a herniated disc in my neck and that's what the problem was, he sat me down in his office. He said, you have two choices. He said, you can get a steroid shot to the neck. Now, in our modern day, when somebody has a problem, modern day medicine says, you got a problem, take a pill. I asked the doctor, I says, is, the, is this shot going to fix the problem? He said, no. He said the second option is surgery. And he explained what would need to be done. They would take a, a cut to my neck, about an inch or two in the neck. They would open that up. They would push the larynx and everything to the side, which would give them access to the spine and the area where the disc had gone bad. They would then dig out the bad disc, take out the piece that's been bulging, got to dig that part out. And then they were going to replace it with this device called a Moby C. We're going to put it on the screen for you up close so you can see it and see how it fits inside the neck. He explained what all needed to be done. And I told him I'll do the surgery. <clears throat> as long as he was the one that did it. I put a lot of trust in it, and I'm glad I did. The surgery was originally scheduled for June 2nd. The insurance company that I have had told me everything's taken care of. All I had to do was pay $2,000 out of pocket, and they would pay the rest. But a day before the surgery, I went in to pay my part, and it wasn't $2,000. It was $2,800 out of my pocket. So I had to go into my little bit of savings and knock that out because I wanted to get this pain over with. I wanted to be out of the pain that I was in. The second rolls around. I go to the hospital, as you see here. I took a picture of me all wired up. They had me intravenously connected. They had already given me painkillers. They had already washed me down with this stuff here. They have like uh, cloths that are covered in this antibacterial surgical scrub. And I had to pretty much wash myself from head to toe, but not face and not the private areas with this. And I was on the hospital bed and just a few moments away from being rolled into the operating room. When the nurse comes into the room and says, we're sorry, but we're not going to be able to do the operation because the insurance company has informed us they're not going to cover the surgery. Now, needless to say, I was shocked. And so was everybody else in the room because they've never seen a situation where there's a guy who's already been wired up, already connected up, 
and just a few moments from being run into the operating room to have the surgery done and the insurance company pulls the plug at the last second. And although I tried for hours on the phone there in that operating room to get or the hospital room to get them to change their mind, they wouldn't change their mind. Finally, a nurse came in and told me, sir, we're sorry, but the next patient is here for their surgery and your time has run out. So we're going to disconnect you from all these machines and everything and send you back home. Sometimes it takes bad things happening for good people to rise to the top. And that's what happened here. Dr. Burleson has surrounded himself with a whole bunch of very strong women. And these ladies, when they found out what the insurance company had done to me, they came to bat for me. And I want to take a few moments to speak about them because I think they deserve some praise and they deserve some, rec no, some, some acknowledgement. They deserve people to know who they are and what they did because they did a great thing. The first one I want to speak about is Kimberly. Not only is this lady incredibly gorgeous, but she has a heart of gold and she's a fighter. She got on the phone with the insurance company and began to give them what for because it was wrong for them to tell me everything was taken care of. Get me all the way to the point where I'm about to go into the operating room and then pull the plug. And Kimberly was so dedicated to getting this done because they had a small window left to try to get me in for this surgery. They wanted to get me in by the 10th because if they couldn't get me in by the 10th, the earliest they'd be able to get me in was maybe August or September. And by then, my situation would have been really bad because I was deteriorating by the day because of the pain that I was in. She even called me after office hours. She could have been home relaxing after a long day, but no, she was on the phone with the insurance company trying to get them to change their mind and to approve this surgery. And to that, I want to say thank you so much, Kimberly. You stood up for me. You fought for me. And I hope one day when I finally find a wife, she's a lot like you. I really appreciate what you did. But Kimberly was not alone. There's two other Wonder Women as well who stepped up. These two women had never met me. They didn't meet me until after a month after the surgery was over. But when they heard what had happened, they got ticked off too. And they got a hold of the insurance company. The first one is Lisa. This lady right here. She got on the phone with them and began to give them the business. Tell them what for. And I tell you, she stood up for me. And she didn't even know who I was. She just knew what they did was wrong. And Lisa, I salute you and thank you for your help and helping me get the surgery done. I really appreciate it. There's also Kelly, another one of the Wonder Women. Three Wonder Women that Dr. Burleson surrounded himself with. Kelly also stood up. And when she heard about it, she stepped up and decided to go to bat for me. And Kelly had never met me either. But these ladies know injustice when they see it. They knew it was wrong for the insurance company to do what they did. And they were convinced that they were going to let this insurance company know they were not going to let them get away with it. I even heard through the grapevine that there might have been some crispy bacon language thrown around a little bit. Maybe some raised voices. But let's just say the insurance company heard from these ladies. They had set up an appointment to meet with my doctor, Dr. Burleson, to talk with him. And after these ladies got done with him, my doctor tells me that he talked on the phone with their representative and it only took a couple of minutes, literally just a couple of minutes, and they approved it. I don't think they wanted to have to deal with these ladies anymore. These ladies had given them the business and they were not joking around. To all three of you ladies, I greatly appreciate the work you did. To all three of you ladies, I really appreciate the work you did. Thank you for doing what you did for me. In the future, I want to give you all some gifts, but not just y'all. The surgery was rescheduled for the 10th of June. This time, I got wired up again, washed down again, the whole nine yards. 
And as I'm being rolled into the operating room, the anesthesiologist comes and says, I'm going to give you this medicine, this medication here. It's just to relax you a little bit. It's going to be just fine. And he, he put something into my intravenous, and that's the last thing I remember. I went to sleep. I was gone. I wake up over an hour later back in the, uh, in the hospital room. Now, I was expecting, like so many others that I've seen in YouTube videos, I was expecting to be in a lot of pain. But I wasn't. I wasn't. I was a bit surprised. Though. Maybe it's because of the medication that I'm on. Maybe that's what, why I don't feel like I'm in a lot of pain. I was sent home same day. As a matter of fact, I was sent home within, I would say, an hour and a half of waking up. I was feeling all right. They prescribed for me painkillers. <clears throat> Didn't really need them. Didn't really need them. You see, Dr. Burleson did his job in such a way that there wasn't going to be a lot of pain involved. You're, of course, going to have the pain of having your neck cut. you got some nerves here that are going to get cut along with the, the skin. But all the rest of the stuff behind that, he just pushes that out the way. You don't got to cut any of that. The disc that's being removed, that's not connected to any nerves. So that gets cut out. And the device that they put in, that's not connected to any nerves either. I asked the doctor, I said, can I just take extra strength Tylenol? I think they prescribed me for uh, a much more powerful painkiller. I didn't want to take it. I didn't want to take it. I'd heard too many bad things about that particular painkiller. I didn't want to take it. He told me, go ahead and just take extreme tunnel. I can tell you this, guys. Today is Thursday, July 14th. The surgery was June 10th. I may have taken an extra strength Tylenol on four occasions in that period of time. You did just one pill. Have not had to take any for the last three weeks or so. No pain. No major pain. Let's put it that way. No major pain that's going to make me have to take a painkiller. Now, for those of you who watched my video on Where's the Real Noah's Ark, you remember I was in a really bad shape. I couldn't even lift my head up all the way to look at the camera because the bulging disc was causing so much pain that to lift my head up was, you know, I would really have to put, lean my body back to sort of lean, to get my head up. But now I've got range of motion. I can turn my head. And for some of you say, well, that's no big deal. I can do that. Say that when you get a bulging herniated disc. We sort of take it for granted to be able to turn our heads easily and comfortably until you can't. And I give a lot of the credit for being in this condition. One, to the Lord Jesus Christ, my God. Number two, Dr. Burleson, MD. Incredible job. I'm going to give you this guy's contact information. If you need disc replacement, this is the guy. I don't care if you're from a different state. It's worth the travel to come and see this man and his staff. It's worth it. The third thing, after the surgery is over, it wasn't all cookies and cream. Although I did have my share of cookies and cream ice cream. I was able to eat solid food first day. A little nervous at first because I had a sore throat. And one of the issues I had with my throat was, it appears when they put the tube down my throat to help me breathe while I was out for the surgery, 
my uvula had gotten scratched. So I kept choking on my own uvula for about a week. It was one of the weirdest things that my uvula was hanging down my throat. And it took about a week or so for it to finally shrink back to its normal size. I had to deal with that. I had to deal with a bit of a sore throat with swallowing. But as far as major pain, no real major pain. Another thing I want to do in recommendation. Dr. Burleson gave me this neck brace. Not all neck braces are the same. I call this the Burlington Burlington brace, the Burlington brace, even though it's, you know, regular brace. I call this the Burlington brace. This brace I got from Dr. Burleson. This one I bought off of eBay because I wanted one in black. But I want you to notice the difference. Notice the white one has this nice dip here. Let me get over here. You can see it. This nice dip right here. It's got a good deep dip. Why? You want to be able to fit your chin in there so your head can lean normally. The Burlington brace has that nice dip in there so your chin can fit in there. This one that I bought off of eBay, I would not recommend. Why? It barely has a dip in it. I slept in this one night. I'll never do it again. I can sleep in this. I didn't have to. But just to play it safe, for the first two weeks or so after the surgery, I would sleep with this brace on, just to keep my head level. I tried one night sleeping in this, and I'll never do it again, because the dip is not deep enough. So instead of your head resting in a normal position, you notice it has my head tilted back? It's got my head tilted back. I woke up the next morning in so much pain, having my head tilted back like this all night, while asleep? No. No. During the day walking around, this might be okay for a while. I would not recommend sleeping in one like this that doesn't have a deep dip where you can rest your chin and rest your head in there. You might end up in a lot of pain just trying to watch out for you. So if you're going to go through s surgical spine surgery, if you're going to go through a, a disc replacement, I'm going to recommend for you Dr. John R. Burleson, MD, of the Houston Clinic. Now, Houston is spelled H-U-G-H-S-T-O-N. Not Houston as in Houston, Texas. No. H-U-G-H-S-T-O-N, Houston Clinic, Dr. Burleson. And for those who need some help spelling it, it's B U R L E S. O N. This guy gets the job done, and I'm living proof. It's been a month and what? Four days? And I feel like I can run a marathon. Feeling good. Not going to try to do it just in case, but I know I'm feeling good. Might be looking good too. But not looking good at Dr. Burleson. So ladies, calm down, please. I'll put the shades back on because I don't look all that good unless I got the shades on. Now that's better. Okay, now we're good. So I want to just take some time. I'm going to give you guys the contact information for the Houston Clinic. I want to give you guys the information on how to reach Dr. Burleson. If you are in a situation where you need disc replacement, I strongly recommend Dr. Burleson, MD from the Houston Clinic in Nashville, Tennessee, and in Smyrna, Tennessee. Again, if you're not in Tennessee, I believe it's well worth the journey to come here to get the job done. And again, I'm not being paid to do this, but I believe this. If somebody does something nice for you, if somebody does something good for you, shouldn't you at least tell them or say thanks? I've sat out here many times like, man, I've been single for so long, it's frustrating. But I got the feeling there's a lady out there that likes me, and she won't even say anything. She, she's too scared to even say hello. And like, what good is that doing me if she don't have the guts to say hi? 
And when you have a doctor that steps up and his staff stepped up and helped me out. And I'm sitting here with all these people here on YouTube who watches my videos on a regular basis. I'm not going to sit here and try to hide the man in the back. He did something good for me that's extended my life and made my life much better. His staff did something for me that helped me out. I'm no longer in that pain I was in. I can move my arm around now. I can move my arms around without pain now. I can move my head around, back, forth, up and down without pain because of what he did. And again, I'm only one month and four days after the surgery. There were people whose videos I was watching on YouTube, they're months out and they're talking about they're still in pain. So this doctor must be doing something right. So I'm going to put up on the screen the information for the Houston Clinic. I want to give a shout out also to the people who were involved in the actual surgery itself to help get this job done. Because when you're getting disc surgery, it's not just you and a doctor. It's you and a whole group of people that are responsible for a whole bunch of things inside that hospital room to make sure that your surgery is a success. So I want to take a moment to say hello and a thank you to Morgan, Allison, Marianne, and Kaylee, who was there in the hospital room working on my surgery to help me get well. I want to say thank you to all of them for helping me out. I hope to reward you guys sometime soon. Right now, financially, I'm not in the best place that I want to be because I've been out of work since the last week of, uh, basically the first week of May. And I'm probably not going to be back to work till August because they want me to wait until my next doctor's appointment on the 27th of July, which is still two weeks away. So I haven't, you know, I've gotten one paycheck in what, two months? But the Lord is good. The Lord is good. So here's what my neck looks like now with the x-rays. I'll put it up on the screen. I wanna make sure there's no private information on here. <laughs> but this is what my neck looks like. I'll put it up there on the screen for you guys to see. And you can see that the device is in there nice and firm, right where it's supposed to be. The doctor did a great job. So in closing, if you're out there and you're being told that you need disc replacement, I recommend Dr. John R. Burleson, MD, in Nashville. I'm going to give you his information here so you can reach him. The Harding Place location, 615 834 4482. Again, the Harding Place in Nashville, Tennessee location phone number 615 834 4482. And for his Stonecrest Smyrna number to reach him is 615 355 0533. That's 615 355 0533. Dr. John R. Burleson, Houston Clinic. I'll put his stats up on the screen so you can see it. Undergraduate, Dallas Baptist University. Medical degree from the University of Texas. His residency, orthopedic surgery, University of Massachusetts Medical Center. Fellowship, spine surgery, Texas Back Institute, and in various other things that he's involved in here. American Academy of Orthopedic Surgeons, American Medical Association, New England Spine Study Group, North American Spine Society, Society for Minimal Evasive Spine Surgery. You want to talk a minimal evasive, guys? I am here a month and four days after the surgery. And all that you can see is a little mark right here on my neck, which in the next couple of weeks should be gone. You would never know I had surgery done because this guy did such a great job. So many people out there were praying for me. So I hope you guys have enjoyed this video. If you're going to be going through the surgery, don't be scared. You just got to get the right surgeon to get the job done right. That's all. And a staff that really cares about you, like Kim and Lisa and Kelly. Dr. Burleson got the job done. I want to say thank you, doctor. I hope this video goes out and reaches the world, and I hope you get a lot of people that come in that needs to help, that you're able to help. 
And I'm going to end this all with a song that I wrote. Just so you guys, cause after all, I said I'm a singer, songwriter, and Bible teacher. So let me get you one of my songs that I wrote. And I hope you guys enjoy it. And until next we meet, I will see you guys down the road. And now you know what it's all about. This song is called Tonica Dance, We Came Here to Party. And you'll find it at my music site, JasonZelda.com. We came here to party. Dance. 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 We came here.